I'm going to show you a picture, a very, very famous picture, which is um, it's, a, it's an image that has fascinated me for as long as I can remember. I don't remember the first time I saw it, but it was a number of years ago. It's in the center pages of this book. It's from 1948, and it's titled Dali Atomicus. And here it is, right here. And if you've never seen this before, you may be thinking, what on earth is going on here? There's the artist Salvador Dali in midair, with a paintbrush in hand. Everything seems to be suspended. Nothing is touching. There's a chair on the left. Dali is beside a, a canvas on an easel. There on the right, we've got uh, one of Dali's famous paintings. That's Leda Atomica. Um, don't know what it is underneath. A little stool, maybe. And this mysterious stream, <laughs> a floating stream of water, which runs right across the composition. And look, <laughs> these three cats. And um, I said that nothing was touching, but these two cats here seem to be very much in contact, don't they? I don't know, are they having a, a mid-air collision, perhaps? So, yeah, what's going on here? How was this made? This is 1948, the days before Photoshop. So, WTH, I guess. Um, well, this is the work of a photographer called Philippe Halsman. And Philippe Halsman was a portrait photographer and he had a, a, an obsession. He was always looking for ways to get his subjects to lose their masks and reveal their true essence. And the mask, whatever it is, is that thing which hides your, your emotions, it hides your thoughts, it conceals your inner self. And Philippe Halsman was always looking for ways to get his subjects to lose their masks. And he came up with a pretty good idea. What he did is that he would ask his subjects to jump. And this book is Philip Halsman's famous jump book. This is packed full of, of portrait photographs of famous people from, from US culture from last century, and they're all jumping. Let me show you some of my favorites. So here's the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, as seen in The Crown, season one. <laughs> A famous one here, this is Dean Martin and uh, Jerry Lewis. Richard Nixon. There's Sophia Loren and Audrey Hepburn. Marilyn Monroe and Bridget Bardot. Philippe Halsman had a long collaboration with Marilyn Monroe. He photographed her many times. Um, she appeared in the front cover of Life magazine. I think Philippe Halsman was the, the photographer whose images appeared on the cover of Life magazine more than any other photographer. And Marilyn Monroe certainly featured in a, number, in a number of them. So there's many images here, many jumpers. And it's interesting, in the introduction, Philip Halsman himself writes that when you ask a subject to jump, the mask falls, the real self becomes visible. It's interesting because when artists and photographers paint subjects, uh, for portraits especially, you, you call that a sitting. But in Philip Halsman's case, it would have been a jumping. Anyway, in 1948, Philip Halsman asked his good friend Salvador Dali to jump. And he also asked his assistants to throw a bucket of water and three cats across the scene. And it took five hours and, according to this, 28 attempts for him to get the result that he wanted. Poor cats, eh? <laughs> I'm not laughing. It's not funny. It's funny. I, I, I thought this book was actually out of print. And I found it just recently in a, a Barcelona art bookshop. And I was so happy to find it. I, I really was. And I couldn't resist it. I had to ask the, the assistant to take a couple of photographs of me jumping with Philippe Halsman's jump book in hand. Like a total idiot. 
Uh, I think you'll agree that the results aren't quite up to the standard of, of Philippe Halsman's. And in any case, my mask didn't fall off. 